Hey, you guys, this is Sandra coming to you. It's so funny. I was just, <laughs> I was just laughing at the news. I had to turn it off. But um, I was laughing at the news because they had a video of two grandmas fighting. It was so cute. And they're arguing. And one goes, she goes, well, I can't, I can't concentrate. <laughs> and she goes, oh, because the other one's in the back. She said, no one's talking to me. <laughs> Their sisters and then the granddaughter was taking them somewhere. And she goes, uh, she goes, well, just shut up. And she goes, okay. <laughs> this is funny. This is, uh, old people are so cute to me. I love it. And then they had just showed another one where the grandson was taking the grandma to um, to get her hair cut. And that was cute, too. Anyway, hi, everybody. <laughs> back to the video. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just came back from a Walmart. Um, yeah, I didn't stop at Dollar Tree 99 cent store today. You know, just I'm trying to get myself not to do those every single weekend. And for, just for the fact that, um, you know, it, it's starting to level out in California, in L.A. County. And see, this is the thing. California as a whole has surged up. Okay, L.A. County, they've surged up as well. And then within uh, L.A. County, I live in Cal and California and Long Beach, they have surged up. So currently in Long Beach, um, we I think it's 156 people have died. Um, I don't know the count. The latest count for the amount of people that tested positive. Long Beach is a really big city within LA County. They're like, we're LA County's really big. <laughs> so I, I don't know. For those of you that don't don't live out here anyway, so um, our curve is kind of starting to flatten. And so um, you know, they show a map of Long Beach and they have the highest areas, and it changes all the time. At one point. Where I live, which is called the Bixby Knowles, California Heights <laughs> area, um, it was high. And matter of fact, we were the ones that had the fire department that had 13 of their people test positive for it early, early on, like March. Okay. But um, since then, other it's kind of leveled and we have a lot of um, convalescent homes in our area. Um, you know, memorial hospitals right down here. Um, and, um, you know, there's a lot of convalescent homes. Even the home my mom was in when she was alive, uh, when she left the hospital, there's convalescent homes over there. I mean, not, well, rehabilitation, convalescent, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I think at the time when they did have those numbers, they were high because we had a lot of, um, homes in, in the area. And it, there's tons of, there's, I live in an area where there's, they're multi-million dollar houses and there are very old, retired people with money. And, um, mind you, I live in an apartment. It is an expensive area, but I've been here a while and I don't pay as much as everybody else. But I say that to say early on that the, it was, it was more, um, more prominent that is that the right word? Older people were getting it faster than the younger people. And so that's why it was more people getting it in this area because of the convalescent homes and because the elderly people that live, like these people have nurses come to their house to take care of them. I mean, like they, they have money here, not here, but anyway, so I say that to say that that has kind of leveled off, um, therefore kind of bringing our numbers a little down in Long Beach. Um, well, I'm not saying they're down because they are up, but they're leveling. Hospitalizations are leveling. Um, in Long Beach, like I said, we, we've been getting our share of deaths. Um, and I don't know if you guys know our mayor, uh, his mom and stepfather were in the hospital and his he lost his mom last Sunday. That's my uh, the mayor of Long Beach. Um, and she worked in Memorial Hospital. Um, and she's been there for a long time. And I just, oh, may she rest in peace. That kind of made me cry because it's, it's just so sad. You know, people people are, that are suffering from this are the elderly and the people that are actually helping 
and their, um, what do you call it, the uh, essential workers, they're the ones that are falling hard on this. And I'm not saying anyone, no matter if you're essential, no matter if you're not, or whatever. It's just sad to see the people that are essential workers that are caring for people that are elderly and just, I don't know, I just, it's sad to see that they're the ones that are dying, you know, and it just broke my heart. His mom was 62 and she was a nurse and, you know, knowing all the health risks, she still went in there and every day they did her job and she enjoyed it. And basically she risked her life. She risked her life to save others. And I just think we all need to really, you know, kind of open our eyes to that. I mean, I'm sure your eyes are already open, but I'm just saying, you know, we just have to say extra prayers for those families and people that are essential workers. Um, I think my coworkers, a lot of my coworkers are essential that work, um, you know, face to face with people, you know. But anyway, we're going to get into my haul. You guys, I have a grocery haul. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I have a grocery haul from Walmart just Walmart and then I'm gonna open up a couple of packages for you guys and so excuse the I don't know if this is if you could see it, it I had the fan on so the background was kind of waving <laughs> sorry so anyway I'm gonna get into what I bought so oh I, oh, I left my big thing over there I'll have to put it on pause to show you guys that I thought I dragged it over here but I'll show you guys that last <laughs> so I bought Parmesan cheese. Uh, usually I get Parmesan cheese from the 99 cent store I ran out. I didn't want to make that extra trip, so I bought Parmesan cheese at Walmart. And you guys, I've been craving fresh bell pep roasted bell peppers. Um, like, I like to roast my vegetables, and I cut up different, just different vegetables. I don't have the m amount of vegetables. Like, I wanted mushrooms. I wanted to roast... Um, you know, um, red onions. I think I just ran out of all of my red onions. Just different things, and then I cut up these little, um, these little uh, sausage, Hill Hillshire sausages, and I roast those. I season them, and then I roast them in the oven. And I just I love that. And so I don't have all this stuff, but I have been making. I made curry chicken the other day. Didn't have bell peppers. Now, if you guys are anyone that knows anything about Jamaican food and knows about uh, curry chicken, this is an essential, and I had to make it without. So I was really devastated when I had my curry chicken without my bell peppers. Because <laughs> that and onions are, like, <laughs> important. And, of course, the curry. I um, This goes with the thing that I bought that I'm going to show you guys last. So this is pineapples, fresh pineapples. And you guys, I buy these. These are little yogurt bars. I think I've already showed you guys these, but these are high in protein, eight grams of protein, but they're really, really good. They're like a little, um, it's like Greek yogurt in there, like frozen Greek yogurt, and it has chocolate on the outside. I don't know which of those. I think maybe the Greek yogurt that has the protein in it, but it's eight grams. I don't know if you guys can see that. There it is right there. It's strawberry. I'm not a fan of strawberry, however. If it's mixed in something like that, I'm good. I can't eat just fresh strawberries. I cannot do it. I don't like it. I cannot stand strawberries or watermelon. Now, watermelon, I can't have watermelon anything. I could taste that through everything. I, um, for 4th of July, I have my nephew. I asked my nephew to buy me one can of pork and beans. He buys me four cans of these big old cans of pork and beans. So, I'm like, okay, I... I'm not a big, big fan of pork and beans. However, if I put enough of the, um, you know, I put a little barbecue sauce in it, I cut up some onions and I doctor it up, then, you know, it's good. I don't like the fact that it's so sweet. And so sometimes what I would do is I would open the can. I'm sorry, I keep looking out at the cars, you guys. I live right on like a main, not a main, main street, but a street where it's busy. <laughs> I keep looking out. But anyway, so um, I'll drain some of that, um, juice off of pork and beans then I'll put a little barbecue sauce and then I like to put um I know I know hot dogs aren't the best but I get turkey dogs I don't buy the regular other stuff I buy the um turkey and so yeah so I, <laughs> I bought them I'm like uh I got all these pork and beans and um you know and then they have with it so I make get my little turkey dog with it 
right, and then essential that I've been having in my house lately because I have a uh, little cup, small cup of water, and I have like a tablespoon of vinegar, apple cider vinegar, in it every day. So that was one of my things. Um, I ran out of my ginger um, turmeric smoothies, but I'm gonna explain to you guys about that. Uh, Wal walnuts. I was gonna say Walmart's. I finally got walnut. Wal I finally got walnuts. I like to snack on walnuts. Walnuts are really uh, good to have around for a snack. And me, I can grab a couple of them and be like, okay, I'm good. And then because I haven't been going to the 99 cents store or Dollar Tree, I went ahead and got some of their little lemonade. I'm going to make a little picture of the lemonade, the sugar-free lemonade. And then I got um, this one. I wanted to try both of them to see which one I like. So this is the Lipton. This is the Target Great Value brand lemonade. And then this is the Crystal Light Raspberry lemonade. So I wanted to try that, see which one I like. Then, of course, my coffee creamer. I don't like dairy liquid. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't like liquid. That was the vinegar water I was drinking. Anyway, <laughs> I don't like to put um, liquid creamer in my coffee. Um, I'm lactose tolerant. I don't know, uh, even if it says non-dairy, any of that liquid, milky, anything upsets my stomach. So I buy dry, um, dry uh, creamer. <clears throat> and that was that. I have one more bag, you guys. I'm at 11 minutes. 11 and a half minutes. And then I thought I was getting a smaller one, but I'm good. <laughs> Blueberries. And my onions. I ended up buying yellow onions because I don't always cook with the red onions. I like to roast the red onions, but I like to cook with these onions. Um, I guess they're yellow onions. I don't know. I don't know the proper name of them. And then, you guys, I bought my... I try to buy this every time I um, shop. Well, I have room in my freezer, so I can buy, you know, another bag. But I try to buy the little bags of, um, you know, frozen chicken. And so that is all that I bought at Walmart. Last week I told you about my cat litter. I'm just now bringing it in the house because now I'm out. <laughs> but I want to open a few things with you guys that I got um, online that I told you stuff is trickling in. If you guys know um, already, if you guys have ordered on Wish or AliExpress or anything coming from China... Um, it's taking longer, and of course it takes even longer because when I get that stuff, I spray it down with Lysol, and I let it sit for about three or four days before I touch it. So, I had this one the longest, so I'm going to go ahead and open up a few things with you, and I think I'm going to start doing that. As I get stuff throughout the week, um, I will do my grocery haul, and then I'll show you guys my little things that I received for that week. So... <laughs> Another button. I ordered a lot of buttons, you guys, because I'm trying to fill up another denim jacket with these buttons, and I love them so much. They're just so cute. I remember when we were in junior high in the 80s. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys came up in the 80s, but remember we would wear the shirts with the white shirts with the collar, and then we'd have our buttons on them, and I had Prince. Prince was my thing back then. Like I had, I had a Duran Duran too, because I used to like them. And when you went to the record store. They would have all the pins in the background, and then you can buy the pins from the background. And so, um, and back then, of course, they had, um, I don't know if they had records then, but um, by that time, but I think everything was cassettes. But, um, you know, you go into the music store, and they'd always have, back then we had the music store, it was nothing but music, cassette tabs, with tapes, um, records were gone by then, um, DVDs were coming out. But um, in the back, they'd have all the pins, and we'd get them, and I'd have my Prince pins, and my sweaters. I would wear the cardigan sweater with a t-shirt under, and I'd have my little Prince pin. I, I, you know, I came up in a prep. I went to school, well, a junior high, right up to school, and it was like a really preppy area, whatever, so we would always try to dress, you know, preppy and all that stuff like that. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what we did. That's what we did in the 80s. I was a Prince fan, so that's what I did. Um, but yeah, share, comment below the things you guys used to do in the 80s as far as uh, fads and styles and stuff like that. I can remember when Madonna came out 
and we would wear the big um, oversized t-shirts, roll up the sleeves, and they were like the fluorescent tie-dye t-shirt, anything fluorescent with big words on it. I remember when Wham was out <laughs> and he had the big, um, I can't remember what it said on there, but we would go to uh, Limited or Express and buy the big t-shirts, full up the sleeves. And that's, we did all that stuff. It was so fun. And when he had the big like turquoise or fluorescent orange, orange was my color and I liked a uh, fluorescent green and we'd have the big hoops and we just, we, we, we have fun. It was so much fun. I, those are the days that I really miss was junior high. Um, so anyway, you guys, I bond and it says, I am smiling. <laughs> what is, when's, was it Wednesday? Oh my gosh. This is so cute. I always said she was just the funniest. She said, I am smiling. <laughs> She's so serious. So, yeah, I had to get her for an addition to my jacket that I'm doing. Anyway, so next. <clears throat> and I just received this one. My phone, I'm getting all kind of text on, or email on my phone right now. Man, I went to Walmart. It's the longest I ever had to wait for them. I mean, I'm like, dang, I was sitting out there. Cars are coming up. They're getting their stuff and they're going. And, oh, I like when they do this. So there's more. <laughs> this is all the backlog coming in now. <laughs> but yeah, I was telling every time I turned around, he was coming out and he was bringing groceries for people that um, drove up after I did. But I have to say, I did go a little, I'm sorry, you guys. I did go a little early. I went early and he came out with my stuff maybe about 9.07. So I was there early, but they said my stuff was ready, so I was there, you know, and then I still had to wait, like, so long. Anyway, I kind of backed off of them, you know, at first I was like, you guys are taking up forever, what is going on, you know, and then I was like, you know what, they're risking their life, again, they're essential workers, they're risking their life, and they're, you know, doing all this for us so that we don't have to go in the store, so I had to you know, kind of tell myself, back off, Sandra, <laughs> be nice, and then so I was like, thank you, I, you know, told him I really appreciated him, and, um, you know, so, I did, you know, sometimes you just have to catch yourself when you're getting upset stuff, sometimes I get upset over things, and I have to stop and think, and I'm like, it's, it's really not that serious, Sandy, and then I have to think, he's risking his life, you know, and then so, yeah, so one girl, I told her, I said, I really appreciate you guys. I go, God, who is sending me emails? But yeah, I, I try to go out of my way, people, essential workers and stores and stuff like that. I try to go to, out of my way and thank them. Um, got this for Zoe. Um, me and her mom are not talking right now. She's very ungrateful. I'm sorry, you guys. I shouldn't get all into family business and stuff. She's so ungrateful. But anyway, yeah, I got this whenever... All the corona and all this is over. I just thought these are really cute because she likes these from Disneyland. And um, she likes anything bright and colorful. So that's for her hair whenever she comes back over. Um, and then, what is this? This doesn't feel like a pen. But, um, yeah, you know, just be grateful and be nice to those that are, you know, serving us and... Um, you know, that are going out of their way to do special things for us so that we don't put ourselves in danger and go in the stores and all that stuff. Because let me tell you right now, people laugh at me or whatever. I don't care. I, I take this serious. You know, I watch the news, maybe because I watch too much news, but I take all this serious. And I'm not trying to take no chances. You know, I got health issues. Um, they're under control, but it's still issues. I need to lose weight. I don't want to take no chances. Even now with the fan, sleeping the fan on, I'm so stuffy and my lungs have been stuffy from, because it's so hot at night, I have to sleep with the fan. And I'm sure you guys know, you know, my throat gets itchy and, you know, coughing. And that's just from sleeping with the fan. Now imagine that, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table. Imagine that. On top of coronavirus, I'm like, mess me up. I have a friend right now. She was works in the dental field, and she got it. <clears throat> and um, I hadn't talked to Cynthia in a while. You know, she'll post stuff here and there on Facebook or whatever. And 
she she got it and she's like not in the hospital or anything like that but she it's been almost like three weeks and she's saying she just can't get rid of the cough and um you know so she um but she's doing good she's getting better but not fast enough you know what i mean because it, it i heard it's drawn out it draws you out like i mean it draws out like it lasts a long time there you go and the symptoms you have for a long time my friend her brother or her nephew got it and my gosh this was over a month ago and he still has a lot of symptoms from it so i'm not trying to take no chances you guys i got these little seed beads i saw these um bracelets and anklets and stuff on um Instagram that they were selling and I used to make jewelry a long time ago you guys I made it to where I had the needles and I did the stitching and it was really nice and so I saw these simpler much simpler anklets and bracelets and stuff that they made and um, I thought they were so cute and I told myself I'm not it was they were going for maybe 20 something 29 dollars on get me some beads and I and then when I'm cleaning up I realize I already have these but I did order these on wish so I'm gonna use some of these and um <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna try to make me some of them little anklets they were cute too so anyway 21 minutes let me get going because <laughs> I still got another Amazon box over here and something I have to show oh and I got it <sighs> okay so what is this oh you guys, when I looked at it, I didn't see nothing in there. And the first thing that came to my mind was them seeds they said in the people. I'm like, what is I hope they ain't trying to send me no seeds. This would go in the toilet. But um, these are the little needles that they use to make the little, um, you know, when you're stitching and doing the, the little beading, um, they use little fine, long needles like this. And it's funny because I got these for so cheap. And back in the day, I went and... Um, Back in the day, I went and bought needles from this beading. It's called Pudgy Beads. The lady since uh, passed away, she had a heart attack. Uh, her and her husband used to run this uh, not too far from here, this place called Pudgy Beads. And I got the needles for like $4. And it was just like one needle. And then I get all these for like 3 bucks. But I don't see the eye in the needle. I have to take these out. Oh, yeah, it's there. It's not. Uh, yeah, these, yeah, I can't see in all of them, but I'll have to take those out and check it out later. Okay, so next thing I have is <laughs> my quarantine uh, hobby or my quarantine addiction, I guess I should say. You guys, I'm so addicted to these things. And if you have not checked out diamond painting yet, let me tell you, y'all need to go and check it out. You need to check it out. Um, oh, this one's huge. But, see, I like to get the little ones because they're quicker to do. But, um, yes. I don't want to peel. I can't peel it off and show you. And, of course, oh, here it is. Okay, so it's a mandala diamond painting. And I showed you guys a diamond painting before. Um, I'm going to do a whole separate video and show you guys all my diamond paintings. I finally got one on the wall and framed from a really nice frame that I got at Walmart, which might be able to hold this one. But check this out, you guys. It's a mandala. I don't know if you can see it. And it's that. And it's a diamond painting. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to do that. I'm working on one now that I'm almost done. I want to say it's probably, I don't know, I've lost count of how many I'm do, I've done now. Um, but yeah, I am so into diamond painting right now. It's just not even funny. It's just such an addiction. And, you know, my sister says, because, oh, you like tedious things. Well, she likes to crochet and knit and all that. To me, that's tedious. I can't get into that. And um, it's funny because they say a lot of people that, um, what do you call it? Yeah, crochet that they usually get into diamond painting because it's so similar. But um, let's move on to the next thing. But anyway, you guys have to check it out. Diamond painting. If you want to start out doing it, don't go on like Diamond Club. Um, what is it called? Diamond Diamond Club or Diamond Art, Diamond Art Club. Don't go on there and get the expensive ones first. First, go on AliExpress. 
they have them as low as like I get have some here for three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. Um, if you go to a Diamond Art Club, they're like fourteen dollars and all that, you know. So if you're gonna start out and get something real nice, get first of all get something nice and simple that doesn't have a lot of colors first. Um, I mean, if you feel you, it, it's kind of like painting by numbers. If you feel you're up to doing one with a lot of with a lot of colors, then do it. But um, you um, get them so much cheaper on AliExpress, and pay attention when you order the size, because um, that's what I was gonna say. If you're gonna start out, do start out with a smaller one. Don't get a big one. And um, yeah, it's just much cheaper on AliExpress. The only downfall for that is that um, it takes forever to get here. I ordered these back in like early May, <laughs> and they're just coming. Okay, so this is Amazon, you guys. I have an Amazon haul, and um, I did this haul, and I was like two or three dollars away from the twenty-five dollar because I don't have Amazon Prime. So I was like two or three dollars away from the twenty-five dollar to get free shipping. So of course I go in there and type in two dollar items or three dollar items or whatever, whatever the difference was. And this came up, and I was like, oh yeah, I need my little mask for my hair. <laughs> And I use fruit tea sometimes. And so I got this to kind of bump me up to the $25 limit. So that's what that is. And this is... Let me open this first. <laughs> so I saw somebody haul this. And I said, oh, I want one of those. And, you know, I need... Um, I'm all in. I'm all about aroma. Things smelling good. And... I've been burning through my bath and body ca body work candles, you guys, like it is nobody's business. And so um, I've been seeing these a lot. And I said, you know what? Let me try it. Sorry for the shaking, you guys. Cheap table, wobbly. So let me show you what I got. So I got one of these diffusers. Now, this is... Um, this one was, I want to say, 14 or $13, something like that. Might have been cheaper. But um, anyway, you plug it in, and it comes with a little plug. And then, um, let's see, I'm trying to see where you put the aroma in. And it's a light, and it changes colors. And so I have to read up how to do this, but you put the aroma in there, and that brings me to this. <laughs> and so I got the different aromas, um, you know, just like the little lavenders and stuff like that. And then apparently you put it back on and twist it around. And when you turn the light on, it'll turn different colors, and then it sprays up like the aromas out of the top. So... Yeah, I said I'm going to try that out, and i um, not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Um, I was thinking I'll put it in my room, but uh, my nightstand is so small um, that, you know, I just, I don't know, I'm not too sure. I'll let you guys know, and I'll let you know what how it smells, but um, yeah, where am I? I don't know. I might put it in here, you guys. So I like when I walk through the front door, my house smells good. <laughs> Not that it doesn't smell good, but it doesn't smell the best all the time. Especially when I, I hate when I cook stuff with onions and, you know, and just still, I mean, it seems like my house smells like onions for days. Or anything with a straw, like the um, curry. Oh my gosh, curry is, it, I love curry. I love the smell of it, but I cannot stand when my, the smell lingers around in my house. So you guys, here are the aromas. Um, I'm going to show you guys which one I have. Okay, it says it back here. includes sweet orange, lavender, tea tree, lemongrass, peppermint, eucalyptus. Um, origin, origin of the oils are France, Austin, Austin, Australia, <laughs> Brazil, and China. Okay, so let me open it. These are 100% essential oils, and so these go into the diffuser. And there you go. And they come just like this. So I don't know if you drop it, droplets in there or whatever. I'm going to have to read the instructions to make sure I figure out how it... But that, that dome, it changes colors. And there's this beautiful, beautiful, bright 
blue that I really, really like when I see people have it on that. I hope I can turn it to where it's just blue or, you know, just like a fresh color. I like blues and greens, just kind of fresh colors. I don't know, natural colors. I don't know, it's not natural, but like just fresh colors like that. I don't know, to me that just reminds me of that. So here's the um, eucalyptus, the peppermint, lemongrass, tea tree, lavender, and sweet orange. I don't know why I'm repeating this again. I just want to smell the lavender. I love the lavender. No, I'm going to spell the eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus too. I like lavender, but I like the eucalyptus. And it comes like this, and I believe it's probably droppers on there. I don't know. Oh, okay. It comes sealed too. That's good to know. Oh, no. Okay, so it has the little thing on there to where you kind of drop. Oh, God, that smells so good. Yeah, I love it. So, yeah. I hope that you're going to do that tight because, you know, oils can leak. But, um, yeah, so that's that. And then I'm going to pause you real quick and show you what I got. So I don't know if I told you guys um, on the last videos, but I was cleaning out one of my purses and I found a $50 gift card that I forgot. You know, with my mom passing away and COVID-19 and all that stuff, all that stuff, just blew, it was out of my mind. I wasn't thinking about all that, you know, and Christmas, I mean, um, even Christmas without my mom just kind of put a blur over everything and then bam, Corona strikes. So I, what I forgot all about it. <laughs> and so when I saw it, I was like, I'm going to get something really nice that I've been wanting. And you guys, I got a juicer. Finally, 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 you guys don't know how long I have been wanting a juicer. Um, it is by Hamilton Beach, and it's the big mouth, so you can stuff a whole entire apple <laughs> inside, and it will shred it to pieces and extract all the juice out. <laughs> it's funny because I like to make smoothies. I like to use a ninja because I kind of like sometimes the skin. The skin and stuff is what's the best stuff for you. So. Sometimes I will make smoothies and still have the skin and stuff like that, the pulp and all that stuff like that, because that is, it's, it's, um, a lot of time the skin is the best part, but, um, you guys, I've been doing a lot of the turmeric, um, and the, um, what do you call it? The turmeric, the ginger and, you know, cucumbers and I've been doing that in the ninja and then I strain it in a strainer and then I'll allow some of that. A little bit of the skin and stuff to go in, but you guys, I'm very excited about this. I really am. Um, I have beets in the freezer right now. I mean, the refrigerator right now that I let go bad because um, I was going to put that in the Ninja, but I didn't want to dull. It was so hard at the time. I didn't want to dull the blade. And then so when I went back in there, it's real soft. So I'm like, okay, I don't know if I can eat it now. I mean, I don't know if it's good now, but yeah, carrots, uh, all that stuff. Kale, I had bags and bags of kale that um, I cooked some of it and then I made smoothies, but it was real gritty. It was real gritty <laughs> with the um, with the kale. So, um, yeah, now I can buy my big bags of kale from um, Walmart and, you know, just do my little juicing with my ginger. I have a bunch of ginger in there. Buy my apples and I can go do my juicing and oranges carrot juice, all that, and I have these mason jars that I can put them in, um, you know, just kind of make enough for the week, and that way I can just grab it, you know, but anyway, I'm really excited about this, you guys, and it was $79 at Target, I used my $50 coupon, I mean, $50 gift card that I had, so I paid the difference of uh, $29, so yes, I finally, 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 finally got my juicer, and so... Um, as you guys know, I, uh, intermittent, intermittent fast. And so what I want to start doing is I want to go one meal. I've been saying it, but it's really hard. I think the stress kind of makes it harder when I'm at work. It's easy because I'm so busy at work that I don't have time to eat. Like sometimes lunchtime comes and I'm like, uh, I don't have time to eat <laughs> or, you know, when I go back to work, I am going to start my walking. And so when I walk and I come back to work, I have limited time to eat. So I have to come back and depending if I have to cover a courtroom, then that's different. And it's just, there's so many factors on, you know, um, 
whether I'm going to be able to walk some days or eat lunch or whatever. So, you know, I said um, I can bring smoothies with me or not smoothies, but juices with me to work. And if I don't have time to eat, I'll just have my juice <laughs> and then have my, you know, dinner or have a lunch and have juice for dinner is what I really want to do. Um, I would rather, <coughs> excuse me, rather have a lighter meal at the end of the day and then have my bigger one during the day. Anyway, so I'll keep you guys posted about that. I have already gone 35 minutes. I sure do hope you guys are still there. <laughs> anyway, I just want to shout out to, oh, I forgot her name. Lord have mercy. I'm bad with names. Kabasa. Um, oh, I forgot her name. Her last name is Kabasa. She's a Puerto Rican girl. She get, did a shout out. That was so sweet of you. Um, I, I, I'm i just, that was really nice of you to do that. You know, I was the first one. I was like, oh my God, you're so sweet. She's the sweetest lady. You are the sweetest. And Miss um, Purple, I've been watching a lot of her lately. I've been trying to catch up on a lot of videos I haven't been able to see. I watch so many videos on so many different platforms, you guys, and I want to um, support all of my people. And so I try to go, even when we're talking on um, like Thrift Queen, she seems to be like that hub uh, YouTuber <laughs> that we go to and we meet everybody. And um, that's who I met a lot of people through. And so sometimes when I watch her video, I'll try to jot down the names of the people um, you know, that are on there. And then I go through my subscribers and write down their name. And I'm like, okay, let me go catch up with this person. Let me catch up with it. And so I have that community. Then I have other you know, videos that I watch. So I'm trying to catch up with everybody. So yeah, I got up this morning, was watching YouTube and I saw him this, um, oh, I wish I, I know it's Cabasa, Puerto Rican lady. So sweet. I love her accent. I, I just, I love to hear her talk and, you know, her little videos and her little DUI, DIYs and stuff like that. And I just want to thank you so much for that. I really appreciate for, um, your shout out. And I appreciate all of you guys, all of you guys that look at my videos, give me a thumbs up. Even those people that I comment on your channels and then you actually respond to me, that makes me feel special as well. I like that. I really do. And Miss Purple, I was watching your video this morning too. You sing fabulous girl. You don't stop don't let nobody tell you you can't sing. I was like, look at her. It was funny because you kept looking off the porch and looking at somebody looking at you. And it was just like, I was like, somebody's watching her. And then you waved or something like that. And I'm like, she's so brave. I would have been like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, so I just wanted to uh, tell you guys to have a wonderful weekend. Um, I hope you guys are all safe. And I hope you're wearing your mask. I hope you're social distancing. Um, and I just want to say that I care about each and every one of you, and I look forward to having many, many years of watching you guys on YouTube. So you take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm on here way too long. All right, bye.